So what is suffering? We, I think, use that term. It's another one of those difficult things to define. I'm using a definition here that I find extremely useful in working with patients and families. It comes from a physician, Eric Cassell, one of the few in my uh, reading, who's actually tackled the question of suffering and has a book called Suffering and the Goals of Medicine. And he defines suffering as the experience that occurs in the face of an impending <coughs> disintegration of one or more aspects of a person's selfhood or personhood. From that perspective, really, all illness has an element of suffering as part of it. And I like to think about what this would be, because some of the elements of suffering aren't always apparent to us. So I think of a patient who had a cancer of the arm and the chest that kept her from being able to hold her baby. And that was a source of, as you can imagine, great suffering for her. It wasn't just the cancer, but it was the loss of that role and that function of being able to live out that role with, with her child. That would be an example. Um, a patient who was a uh, end of year final training as a physician diagnosed with a terminal cancer whose suffering was that she was never going to get to live as a physician and practice as a physician. And her suffering in that loss was huge. That was a loss of a role as, as well as a loss of a dream. Another loss that I find associated with suffering in our patients is the loss of a sense of a secure future. You don't realize that you build this belief of a future. We all have, have to do this to carry on. But illness, any of you have been diagnosed, you realize that your, your plan and your vision of your future is instantaneously impacted by that diagnosis. I was meeting with a friend who is here in the hospital um, today, and he described the experience, he said his, if his life was on wheels, like an automobile, the wheels had come off the bus. And he just felt like there was no momentum and no sense of uh, life going forward for him. So the loss of the future is another one of these losses. So suffering and the loss of parts of the self can include functions, activities, the obvious things like mobility. Um, one that came up for a family member of mine was the ability to use the bathroom in private. Things that here in, as clinicians we see commodes in many, many rooms, but we don't necessarily think about what that it connotes for our patients. Um, social relations, relationships, every relationship is impacted by the presence of illness. Couples where one person suddenly becomes the caregiver and one person becomes dependent um, is, a, is an example of that. Parent-child relationships where children become caretakers for parents. So these upheavals in relationship. Um, and in general, just your, what we call your assumptive world, the basic assumptions you make about life. They may be illusory, but we all make them. And the experience of illness and a serious diagnosis often just brings us up short. And we're faced with um, the, sometimes the shattering of our assumptive world. <clears throat> 